Alright, guys, welcome back to the final part of Last of Us Part 2. Thank you guys so much for all the support, all the likes throughout the entire series. Uh, the active viewership. You guys getting my videos before I could even get there myself and I know when I'm posting them. So, uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for making this whole YouTube thing uh, big for me. So, um, anyways, this is it. This is the ending. I don't know if I'll do a review yet. I give my thoughts on the ending and parts of the game uh, at the end of the video after we beat it, but I, I don't know. I'll see how this video does. If it does well, I'll make a lengthy video where I just talk about the ending and the whole entire game as a whole and just uh, give my thoughts in general on every little part of it. So, all right, guys, I love you. Let's get this. All right, let's get it. Uh, so, I don't know if it's a brand new video or what. I've just been kind of playing probably in the middle of the video. We'll see. <laughs> all right, let's get it. I just hope Ellie doesn't... I don't know. She got hurt pretty bad on her leg, so... Or it was more of her stomach, actually, not her leg. I keep thinking about her stabbing Abby with the knife or whatever. But yeah, it's like the side. Hopefully it's not in the kidney. Woo! That would suck. Oh, she is being cautious, man. That's good for her. All right. I'm excited to see what this game has to... What in the world? Can I go in here? Hold on, is there anybody down here with me? I think we're supposed to break this. <laughs> no? Alright then. Had a theory there. Looks like you could go back there. So we're supposed to go like... Probably right in here somewhere. Climb something? I don't know. Oh, here we go. I didn't think this was going to open for some reason. She's bit! Keep back! Hey, don't put that Keep fucking thing in hey, me! Hey, 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 hey! Abby tried to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. She's probably already dead. Come on! Man, oh man. The way she's holding her arm, or her uh, stomach, I mean. Said that she may already be dead. This definitely feels like it could be the end of the game. I don't know. I thought we got a lot more left, but. This just feels like... Yo, that is a lot of gunshots. I can't even access my inventory anymore. Jesus. So I wonder if Lev died. I mean, he got he got hit hard into that garage door. You know? I'm surprised Tommy's alive. Dina's alive. Wait, can I cut through here?
Uh, this is this the pillars over here? Oh, it, oh, it is. Oh, she's hung up. Wait, is she one of these bodies? Abby. Wait, that's not Lev. Is this her? Ponytail. Doesn't look like her. Maybe this is her. I don't know. Uh. Wait, is this her? Man, she looks so different. Please. It's you. I'm here to kill her, right? I wonder how long she was tied up. I mean, she lost a lot of weight. All that muscle mass is gone, too. Man, everybody's wounded. I really don't want... I really don't want Ellie to die. This is definitely the end of the game. It has to be the way they have Abby looking like that. And then... Lev barely alive, it looks like. Nobody's in any shape to do anything, it feels like. I just, I don't know what to... I'm trying to figure it all out in my head, like, what's gonna happen? Oh, this is that boat from the menu, isn't it? Can't let you leave. I'm not doing this. Yes, you will. He's not a part of this. You made him a part of this. Oh, 
we gotta fight. Oh god. Come on, square. Jesus. Yo, the... Ooh, that's painful. Yo, how many knife hits can you take? Played Tekken for years. I got these parries ready. Man, this is crazy. Jesus. You got that one two combo going. This is uh, not what I was expecting. Jesus. Am I supposed to get hit here? I feel like I'm not able to do too much. Off. Holy shit!
All right, uh, it's not over yet. So, man, that's a lot to take in. I don't know, like, I'm just torn right now because it's like, I had no, like, I didn't care if Abby lived or died. I, I'm just glad Ellie's alive more than anything. I almost felt like Ellie, or not Ellie, <laughs> uh, a mix of the two. Uh, I felt like Ellie had a moment of just, she got there, she saw how bad a shape Abby was and Lev, he was pretty much on his deathbed, it felt like. And then she just saw how much she had been through and then all of a sudden she saw the blood on her, I guess, shirt and then remembered like, hey, this is, uh, I'm here for Joel, you know, justice for Joel. And, uh, the whole game is about perspective on both sides. We've played as both of these characters at the very end. I mean, she didn't kill Abby. But she sure messed her up. Like, I think at a certain moment, I think, I don't know if she thought about when Abby had her and Dina, when Dina was pregnant, she could have killed Dina uh, and the baby would have been lost and then she could have killed Ellie easily. And they're like the, the interlude when, you know, they finally meet at the aquarium. And I feel like uh, maybe that... Stopped her like, hey, she spared me, so I beat her up. I have the option to kill her. I am at the moment where she can die. And I decide to just let her live. But, like, Allie, I mean, yeah, I keep saying Allie. Ellie was in full control of that whole fight, it felt like. I mean, obviously, she should have been. Because, you know, Abby didn't have any energy, it looked like. Wait, is Dina gone with JJ? Empty house. All the all the drawers have been opened and cleared out. Did they move and not tell her? Damn. Oh, let's check all the rooms really quick. Did they get captured and this thing's going to continue? I hope not. I hope nothing happened to them. I think we're supposed to go upstairs, yeah, yeah. This game has just been just a wild ride, man. It's uh it's a lot to take in. Alright. Oh yeah, they took the sheets, everything. She pretty much just packed up and left. Oh wow, all this stuff's still here at least. Oh wait, we got a note? I think? Oh no, it's a record.
What are you drinking? Coffee. Where'd you get that? Uh, those people that came through last week. Oh. A little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but it's not bad. I had Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Uh, Dana. Is she your girlfriend? No. No, she, that was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just, I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. <sighs> so stupid. Look, I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but. But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. Somehow, the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. I like that. I'll see you around. Yep. <clears throat>
Hmm. Well, uh, man, what a emotional game, you know? I don't know if I want to do a review video or just give you my thoughts now. Uh, kind of in the moment, so kind of want to just do it now. <laughs> um, it, it's weird. It's like... I know she regretted the last few times she spoke with Joel. And, uh... Let me tell you guys something. Back in 2013, I played the first game, right? It came out of nowhere. And a lot of people didn't know what it was. What's this new game by Naughty Dog? We know that they made the Uncharted games, stuff like that. So what... What, what is this? And it started off so good. The characters you meet along the way, Tess, everybody... Uh, had a huge impact on the story. The relationship between... Joel, after he lost Sarah, then 20 years later, he finds Ellie, and it's like, it's like a second chance at having a daughter. And this game, and here's the thing, I played, that game is the only game out of the 6,000 plus videos on my channel that I, uh, that I played twice on my channel. I played it in 2013, when it originally launched on PS3, and then I played it on PS4, when they had the re remaster of it, I think it was, um... Which is a little bit better graphics. Still one of the best PS4 games, I think, is the first game. Uh, so, all that led up to this game, which it's going to be hard to follow what is one of the best games ever. Um, but, it's tough because I understand the point of the game. It's supposed to show revenge from both sides. It's supposed to show the perspective of Ellie and also the perspective of Abby. Uh, a lot of people didn't like Abby's character. I understand that. I'm kind of indifferent. I I feel like they were trying to get you to feel bad for her. Hey, there's Arn. He helped me uh, get the game. <laughs> Thanks to him. Um, but it, it's weird because... I'll try to put this in the best way. I'm just probably going to be rambling the rest of the video. So if you guys want to watch, it's completely fine. But, I mean, you know, I'm just a YouTuber. What do I know? Uh, but my thoughts on the game. I feel like it's hard to follow up the first one. With something else. Obviously, they had a story for Ellie. We didn't know about the whole Abby thing. We didn't know Joel was going to die two hours into the game. And in such a way that's so unlike him. To run around with Tommy and give him people's name. He saved Abby. And then and once Abby found out. I think... Everybody hated that collectively. I don't think there's a single person out there that's played this game and said, You know what? I'm glad Joel died. Not a single person. So... From there, you have to wonder, what were they trying to accomplish? Okay, let's see the perspective of somebody on the receiving end of what Joel's done to maybe get a better viewpoint. Is it worth caring at all? Well, maybe it would have been. But she kills Joel two hours into the game. And from then, it sets a president. Uh, or the... What's the word? I cannot... A president. <laughs> Whatever it's called. It, uh, it sets up... The entirety of the game. The whole thing is, okay, we're going to show Ellie's trying to get revenge by going after Abby. She's killing everybody in the path. Uh, they have you hurting animals. They have you, you know, pretty much taking out everybody. Like Kill Bill style, the bride going after everybody. Uh, finally gets that scene in the aquarium. And then it switches to Abby, right? Then you play as her. And I felt like they wanted to make... Abby's portions of the game more memorable by making them better. Doesn't mean her character's better, but they put a lot of the most exciting stuff in the game. Haven being burned down, the horse ride out of there was that right there alone was more exciting than anything that happened with with uh, Ellie's story, you know. But it, it's it's weird because the Rat King boss, all those things. The people she meets, she's constantly going back and forth from the aquarium, going out to try to help Lev's sister, you know? He was also a good character. Uh, but I think it just felt empty sometimes. I think... Had, I don't know. I don't know how they could have done it to make it better. Maybe just tweak it a little bit. But, like, did Joel need to die? What happens if they kill Tommy instead? You know, and then Joel and Ellie go on an adventure to try and find Abby. And Joel's trying to say, hey, I want this revenge just as bad as you. But then Ellie's just bloodlust, you know, like just wanting to go out and go after that. I mean, they could have done so many things to still also please fans, but also tell a very powerful story of revenge and a perspective on both sides. Um, I didn't particularly like Abby's character. 
I liked some of the things she did besides kill Joel. I didn't. The thing is, I didn't like any of her friends. I didn't care when Owen died. I really didn't care. I I I had zero feeling when most of like I hated the pregnant girl died. Ellie didn't know she was pregnant, but I, I hated it in general for her. Um, she was wrapped up in that. You know, Owen. I didn't care for him. I cared for Jesse. I I felt like he was like probably the most underrated character in the entire game. Joel like men mentored him on patrols and stuff. He even had that little in the dance sequence. Uh, when Dina and Ellie first kiss, like he's talking about Joel's been kind of watching me on my patrols, and it's only when Ellie's around, you know, stuff like that. And it's like you can see that like Joel maybe kind of approves of Jesse a little bit, and you can see Jesse was probably going to be a very used and likable character in this game. But everybody just it, it's like what sucks about it is. The whole thing was Ellie in the first game was like, I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. I'd lose myself or whatever the quote was. Uh, I may still do a review of it of this. Like, I I don't know. This is just me rambling right now. Uh, overall, did I like the game? I hated what happened to pretty much everybody in the story. Not a single person got what they wanted. It's just a tragic story. Uh, the one thing I don't feel bad for is Abby's dad. Like, Joel killing her dad? Good. He, he should have done it. <laughs> and Ellie should have at least appreciated that. And I think she slowly realized towards the end of the game, hey, Joel did this for me. I'm going to wear his jacket. I'm going to go after her. I'm going to find her. I'm going to kill her. To get, I'm going to finally end this. She's getting, she had PTSD at the, uh, at the farm. She couldn't sleep. I, but after it's all over, she let her live. And I guess a lot of people could be mad at that. And I completely agree that that would, you know, we all want her to die. You know, we want Ellie to live, Abby to die. But I had a feeling like something like that was going to happen where uh, that wasn't going to be the case, you know. But I think it, it, she beat her down good. And I think what a lot of people, oh, I didn't know Jeffrey Wright was Isaac. Nice. He was, uh, you guys didn't think I was still watching. Uh he was a guy, if I'm not mistaken, he was in Westworld. Troy Baker, he was Joel. He had a nice cameo in this game. Um, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, it, it's weird because it's like... God, I, I just want to... I might do a review of this game, guys. I don't know. I'm torn. Uh, did I like it? I, I did like the overall events of the game. I didn't like some of the characters. Uh, that's it. I didn't like Abby, but I liked her story. I didn't like that she killed Joel. Like, I didn't like her from the jump. But over time, I liked that she helped Lev. She kept going out of her way to help people. She did anything she could to protect him. And I think that was kind of like a Joel and Ellie type situation, you know? And I just felt like nobody won in this game. There wasn't like a... There, there's no way... Okay, if Ellie had killed Abby, would it have been a good ending? No, I, I don't think so. If Ellie had died, it would have been a bad ending as well. I felt like Ellie got what she wanted. She wanted to know that she could kill Abby. I have the option to do it right now. I could kill her, and that's it. But she didn't, which this game's called Part 2. You best believe there's going to be a Part 3. And Abby living, same for Lev, both of them, they're going to be in the next game, I guarantee you. Some way, shape, or form. If they make a third one, they're going to be in it. I know it. So, I felt like that's something that I was thinking about the whole time playing as Abby. The longer the, the second half of the game went, the longer it went on, I was like, okay, this is an important character to Naughty Dog, right? They killed Joel. They did a lot of plot protection for... Abby, she could have died several different ways. She was hung up. She got saved. Uh, Ellie let her go at the end. A lot of different things happened where she got free. You know? She got saved so many times by Lev with the arrows or whatever. I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Like plot armor, I think, is the word. And when they kept throwing that out, I was like, okay. They really, like, Naughty Dog cares about this Abby character enough to where I don't think she's going to die. Halfway through the game, I was thinking, okay. Or halfway through Abby's section, I was like, okay, she is dodged death so many times. So when we got to the very end, I was like, all right, this is, it's, and I don't know. 
I was just the hoping to God. I kind of had a feeling Abby was gonna live, but I was just hoping that Ellie would it not would not die. You know what I mean? So, but here's the thing: Would the game have been better if Joel hadn't died? Yes. Would the game have made sense? No. Would have been would there have been any point of this whole story had Joel not died? I don't think so. I mean, it, it just it seems like the whole point of the game was you killed Joel because he killed your dad. And now they try to make Abby like the good person. The thing is, the perspective thing doesn't work for me because I understand they want you to play as one character and experience what they went through and then play as another character and see what they went through. So then, you know, you care about Joel the way you care about Lev, you know, and it's like, or Tommy and Jesse and all these characters. There were so many characters introduced after a while. I forgot some of their names, you know. I was just like, okay, that person got killed. I don't even, what was his name, Manny? And then I got his spit on Joel when he died. And it's like, I really didn't care. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow, you died. It really doesn't matter to me. I mean, I I didn't even know you. But it felt like the main cast was Joel, Ellie, Tommy, uh, Dina, their baby JJ, and then Abby and Lev. And that's it. That was it. And... Out of all those characters, Joel's the only one that died, I felt like. Uh, that just, that was the way they wanted to do it Some for some odd reason. It stunned me when Joel died. I hated it. I wish he could be back. That's the one thing about when you make a thing like this. When you finally make the decision to kill the main character, it's going to, like, people are going to be pissed. I was pissed. I didn't even want to continue playing the game, but I did it for you guys. I, I felt so much resentment in my heart. Because I've been waiting for this game for seven years. And uh, how he died was so un uncharacteristic. Like, he didn't trust anybody in the first game. He wouldn't even give out his name. He was driving over people who, hey, you think you could help me drive him over in a truck? And then all of a sudden, people start attacking him. I don't know. I might do a review. I don't want to just overload you guys with this. But that, those are my initial thoughts. Uh, did I like the game? It wasn't bad. It was a good game, I thought, overall. Like, from a gameplay perspective... It's a great game. Story was all right. I didn't have a problem with it. Okay, I see what they're trying to do. But what they were trying to do didn't work for me. Uh, I personally... I guess, oh, you want me to feel bad for Abby? I didn't care one, one bit what happened to her. Uh, I cared more about what happened to Lev. I felt bad he lost his sister and his mom. That's how you make a character that you care about. That character right there. Jesse. I kind of hate that he died. I hated seeing Tommy get shot. I thought he died halfway through the game at the aquarium when he got shot in the back of the head. Uh, I'm glad Dina's alive. I'm glad they had their baby. Abby spared him, you know. Without that, it wouldn't have been possible. I don't know if that's what stopped Ellie from killing Abby at the end, but she maybe saw Lev sitting there, and it's like, Lev doesn't have anybody, you know. A Abby is it. And... It just, I think Joel's death just had such an effect on Abby. Not Abby, but uh, Ellie, excuse me. Um, in the first game, they said, she said something like, uh, if I ever lose you, I, I would surely lose myself. And she did. The entire game, she lost herself. She was out for revenge. Nothing satisfied her. She wanted Abby to die so bad. She got to the end, and it wasn't what she was expecting. She was stunned to see Abby hanging up in the, one of those things, where hung up by her arms probably been there for a long I mean I don't know how long you got it because I know you can go several weeks without eating you starve yourself I don't know if they took him down or they just left him there for a while but uh she got there and she's like this is not what I was expecting and she probably felt bad uh it's just you know it's a hard ending to kind of take in because this I think the fact that this game wasn't called the last of us 2 and it's called The Last of Us Part 2. Even though I just called it The Last of Us 2 in my videos. But uh, the fact that it's called Part 2, I feel like everything's in a trilogy. I remember it's like Christopher Nolan when he made The Dark Knight Rises. He didn't want to make that. He just wanted to make two movies. He wanted to make Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. I don't know if that's what they're going to do with this game. I feel like this game sold really well for them. I'm pretty sure. A lot of hype. One of the biggest sequels of all time. Seven years in the making. Look at all that music that didn't play for me. Because I turned that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> Dodging them copyright claims. Uh, but I, I don't know. I 
It's time. I feel like I need some time to think about this. I may or may not do a review video. If I do, it'll be a long, rambling video. Uh, talk about things I like. Talk about things I didn't like. And that's why I'm not really trying to go like deep dive right now. But overall, did I like the game? As a whole, I did. I really hated what happened to Joel. And I mean absolutely hated it. But that hate was canceled out once they made you play as Ellie for a bit. You're trying to get revenge. You see, you're, you're actually in the process of getting that revenge. And it's just like, okay, now we're able to... Oh, wow, the screen changed. New game plus. Play through the game. Again, all the upgrades. I was wondering how you get that stuff. So where is this at? This is interesting. The, the screen's different, but like where... Is this that beat she got to at the very end? You know? Because they were on a... There's a, there's a boat one, and they hop, she hopped on the shore or whatever. I don't know. Um, but... I don't know. It's tough to take in. There's things I didn't like about the game. There's things I liked about the game. The sequences with Abby were really awesome. The sequences with, with Ellie were also really well done. Uh, I didn't like Abby's character. And from there, it's, it's kind of just like... I'd just be rambling at that point. The ending didn't really satisfy me, nor did it really piss me off or anything. I'm not like, oh god, Abby should have died. I mean, I'm more like... You know, if Abby dies in that ending, Lev dies. And I, I actually liked Lev as a character. I felt bad for him after he lost his sister and mom. And she went through everything to try to save him. I felt more bad for Ellie. She couldn't even play Joel's song at the end because her fingers were gone. You know? Did y'all notice that? Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe that's not a thing that actually happened. But I could have sworn she struggled to play Joel's song because uh, she'd have to use those two fingers, I'm pretty sure, on the strings. And... Dina left. They don't have the baby. The farm was empty, by the way. I didn't see any animals either. So somebody must have like showed up and just, hey, let's all let's take them somewhere else. We don't know what happened. My guess is Last of Us Part Three is gonna have. Uh, I would, I would like to play as. I don't know. I would have liked to play as Joel more than the intro. Jesse would have been a cool character to play as as well. But why haven't we played as Tommy yet? You know? Tommy's such an interesting character. And I think everybody likes him by default. He tried everything he can to save his brother in the very beginning of the first game. So, um, I don't know. That's all I got for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'm, I'm just kind of... I guess I'm not really stunned. I'm, I'm more just like... I just want to think about it. You know? I got, I got a lot to think about. I don't know. It might take me a bit. I'm, I don't even know if I'll do a video right now. I'm just, I'm kind of, I guess I'll see how this video does. If this thing does well and you guys would like me to make a full-fledged review, I would like to show cutscenes from the first game and kind of study them a little bit, maybe show some clips. I have a lot of I ideas. I've never done a review before of a game. I feel like if any game is warranted one, it's this. There's just so much to take in. But overall... It was one of the longest single-player games I played. My series wasn't past... I don't know how many parts it is, honestly. I just record in bulk and then edit, so... Uh, man, what a weird... Just... I feel like... Wouldn't the game have just been better if it ended once Ellie got to the farm the first time? She was with Dina. It, yeah, you wouldn't have been satisfied. But going at... Like, Tommy showing up, then going after Abby... That whole sequence, it was really well done. But, and that last fight was definitely brutal. I mean, I stabbed Abby a lot, it felt like. Uh, I don't even know how she lived, but... She might have even died on the boat, I don't know. But she had the will to live for Lev. The way Ellie wants, you know, revenge for Joel. But I think at the end of the day... I think every single person hates that Joel died. Every single person. But... It's just... I don't know how else they could have made a story. I, I feel like there's other ways they could have done it. If Joel had died, if you guys watch the end uh, or just play the last episode of The Walking Dead by Telltale Games. Uh, obviously, they're not, they're not around anymore, but I don't know. Somebody bought them out. But when Lee and Clementine were there, the very end when Lee dies, it's like, <laughs> you know, people hated that to a point where they were sad about it. I felt like if Joel had died that way, like, let's say they get to the cabin and, and well, what, what's your name? She starts looking at him weird, like he looks familiar, and then 
hey, what are your guys' names? And then they, oh, hey, I'm, I'm Tommy, hey, I'm Joel. And it's like, everybody's looking around like, oh, shit, that's the guy. And I felt like that was just uncharacteristic of both of them. Maybe not Tommy, but I don't know. They'd been trying to bring people in to the main area for a while, trying to go help people. And they even rescued Abby in that process. But then her to just turn around and just kill him. I think it just, it made us not like her, not like any of her friends that were there. Manny, Owen, I didn't care for any of them. Mel, I think, the pregnant girl, she stood up to Abby. She was like the one character, and then I felt like Lev was just kind of thrown into it. His sister would have died without Abby. You know, sister getting taken out. It just, it's rough. It, like, nobody wins in this. Ellie had nothing at the end of the game. She went there for revenge. She didn't even get it. And she went back to the house. Everybody's gone. She doesn't have her romance. She doesn't have her father figure. I feel like her next move... They had her walking away from the place, right? I don't know where she was going, but... I felt like... Either she's going to go looking for Dina in the next one. Or... Something's got to give with the whole, like... Tommy thing, you know? Her and Tommy te team up and just... Live life or something. I don't, I don't even know anymore. I don't know how they could do it. Uh, interesting game. Uh, I don't have a score. I don't. Uh, maybe if I do a review, I'll give you guys a number and all that. But right now, I'm just. It's a lot to take in. So uh, I just spent the past 24 hours playing this game. Not straight, but like that's how long it about took me. About 23. Let me just see really quick. Well, that's HUD. What am I doing? Let's see. Uh, 23 hours. 14 minutes it took me to beat it. Pretty long single-player game. But, all right, guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching this series. If I do a review, you'll see it. If not, this is it. Uh, I have a lot to talk about. I just feel like it'd be me just kind of, like, venting about things I didn't like and then talking good about things I did like or whatever, you know. But overall, the game wasn't bad. Uh, you know. You take out Joel's death, or even just make this the first Last of Us game, or call it something completely different, and have the characters involved not be Ellie and Joel and Tommy. Take them out. Put three, three new characters in there. Let's play as another protagonist. Do we, like, we don't have the same revenge, but I think by the end of it, you're like, man, I, I don't know who to choose. Maybe it would have been better if it wasn't even The Last of Us 2, if it was just like a whole new I IP. I, I feel like that could have been a, a hit. I just think you attached The Last of Us. It definitely played. It had better gameplay mechanics in the first game, obviously. They tuned up a lot of stuff. The guns sounded, felt awesome. The gameplay was really brutal. Uh, but yeah, I just, I felt like they, I don't know. They, uh, story, I think, is just where it, it gets kind of weird, you know? It's really hard to care about Abby. It really is. I don't know if that's the goal they were going for. I feel bad for Ellie. I wanted the best for her. I wanted her to live happily ever after with Dina and, the, and JJ the baby. Hated all her friends died too. But at the end, it's like... The whole thing with like revenge is bad and perspective of it is... You got to take it in from both sides. It doesn't work for me because Abby's dad would have been a child killer had he killed Ellie. She was 14 years old or whatever at the time. And that's it's a chance to get a cure. A chance. That moment at the end of the game when... I think Abby got scratched or better something by a zombie and the guy saw it. Uh, and he said something to her about her being infected. I can't remember exactly what he said. But it happened all fast. It was on like the epilogue area. Uh, and then she just looked at the scratch or bite and was just like, whatever. Like, she, she can't be affected, you know? That's her one thing about her. And a lot of people, I guess, don't even know that about her. So, I don't know. Um... A lot to take in, guys. I will catch you in the review. It'll be a long video, most likely. Me rambling like this. Hopefully that's fine. I'm going to record some clips from the first game. Just kind of show off some stuff. I want to kind of compare a few sequences. Stuff like that. Uh, you guys are awesome. I love you all. Best audience ever. Take it easy, guys.